I want to introduce you to somebody. Literally a month after I became a Christian, I met this man. And this man has a passion for open air preaching. So where do you think I've become an open air preacher? It's all down to Vinny. He helped me a lot and discipled me. Now, Vinny, just, uh, we're in St. Ives now. We're on a beach team. We're, we're just about to do some street preaching right now. But just tell us a little bit about your ministry, please. Well, I've had a background in sport. But then I also stepped up in evangelism. I work as an evangelist. And I do a lot of street preaching across the UK, but mainly in the northwest and around Southport, Burgerside, which is just north of Liverpool. And Vinny, this is a street preaching channel, so there's a lot of street preachers who mainly watch these videos. What tips would you like to give to that most street preachers don't really think about? Well, the first thing you've got to do is get people into your talk. And the only way you're going to do that is ask them questions and ask them questions that open them up and invite them into your talk. The second thing to do is, as you go to do your talk and unleash that, as you look round, you see all your family stood there. Now, how would you speak to them then? If you're angry, it won't work. But you love your family and you speak gently to them. So speak firmly, speak up, but don't be angry. Lots of people are angry and also lots of people don't listen to the people passing so get them involved and ask the question how many people at the end were actually engaged in one-to-one -one work um, at the end of the open air and if the answer is no nothing you need to look at how you're doing things now Vinny, you and our friend roger carswell have been involved in a, a resource uh, you're going to see the resource on the screen now people and then he's just going to tell you a little bit about this resource Okay, well, you might know that right across the UK and right across the world this year, it's very unique because there's so many national elections going on. And I know that US are lining up for theirs probably in January, but there's a track called The Cross That Counts. And it's all a play on the idea that we come to the booth when we choose a political uh, figure or person or party to vote for and the cross that counts we put our cross in that particular square but this is a bigger cross a greater cross that counts and that is the cross of Jesus where sinners are forgiven so make sure if you look in the description box right now there'll be a link there you can get it at tenofthose.com get lots of these tracks get them out because we want to use this opportunity to make known the Lord Jesus Christ thank you for watching